wings of their own birds to stop them flying away. It's known as severe wing trim. Now one vet in Australia has decided that's not on. Catherine Apulli has used some donated feathers along with a bit of glue to make a new set of wings for a bird called Wei Wei. Uh, Catherine joins us now from Brisbane uh, with a friend of Wei Wei. We should point out that's not Wei Wei, is it, that's with you? That's not Wei Wei, no. OK, tell me what happened. I think it's Ludwig, isn't it? Tell me what you did with Wei Wei. What happened? So Wei Wei came into our clinic for a health exam. It was a brand new pet that somebody had bought. Um, during the health exam, I noted that the wings were trimmed very short. There were too many feathers trimmed and the bird had a risk of uh, sustaining very heavy falls to the ground, possibly hurting herself. Um, I let the owners know that we do do a procedure called imping here, where it's basically like feather extensions, where we allow the bird to fly after the procedure. So um, tell us about that procedure. How long does it take? Um, do the wings stay in place forever? So it is done under an anaesthetic um, and it is we do use donor feathers. So um, we actually repair um, the uh, broken feathers by putting new feathers in and we attach that to the base of the uh, feather in the patient. Um, it does require a little bit of planning before we put the bird under anaesthetic. Um, the feathers are cleaned, sterilised and dried. Then they're placed in the tips of the wing. It's completely painless. And when they wake up, they learn how to fly. I'm very, Ludwig, very impressed with your badge there. Um, do, do these um, wings stay in place forever or do the, do the uh, real wings, if you will, um, the parrots or the bird's own wings grow back in the fullness of time? They will grow back in time. And uh, so the base of the feather will molt out naturally uh, and then the bird will grow a brand new feather. So for people who um, keep birds or parrots or whatever at home and they're thinking of clipping wings, you're, I'm guessing, going to say, don't do it. But if you do, uh, is there sort of some advice that you can offer to people? Yeah, certainly. So um, we, can off we can do a correct wing trim. Um, a, a correct wing trim would be trimming only five to seven feathers in each wing. We do need the wing clip to be symmetrical. Um, and we just need the tips of the wings cut, not the feathers along the base of the wing. OK, and how long uh, before uh, Wei Wei is um, back flying again? Ludwig's got a view on that. <laughs> Wei Wei was back flying um, about an hour after the procedure. So same oh, day. Oh, wow. OK, where is she now then? Is she camera shy? <laughs> she unfortunately wasn't able to join us today. OK, but she's fine. How often have you carried out these procedures? Uh, I've done these procedures um, a fair few times. This year, I think I've performed two imping procedures. OK. Honestly, Ludwig is stealing the show. As hard as you're trying, Catherine, tell us a little bit about Ludwig. <laughs> so Ludwig is our resident model bird. She belongs to one of our nurses here um, and she's just in for moral support. <laughs> <laughs> She's amazing. It's good to talk to you. Thanks for joining us uh, on the programme. Glad that Weiwei is doing so well. Appreciate you taking the time. Thanks a lot, Catherine. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me. Quick look at...